सुन ले थी लोग सुन ले members of the beautiful legislature here present, the dean and members of the cabinet, the dwarf and members of the diplomatic corps, the 176 orator, Chief Zanzan Kawa. All of the traditional leaders, all of the leaders of the country, all international guests, political leaders civil society women and youth group that's a thomas deputy chief commission us embassy your person madam pompo lamti hello you and women united nations bureau Ambassador Joseph Nkoma, Special Rep of the President of Equus Commission, Liberia. The Honorary Madam Noshiki, Mama Juli Asisi, and the Minister of Finance, and all of the Kusaskip Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. We gather here again at the Moravian City Hall as it has become a tradition every year to give due recognition to individuals and institutions that have distinguished themselves for the past years in their daily undertaking. Last year, we commemorated a historic past attending of our beloved country, which indicated the return of our forebears to the motherland 20 years ago at Providence Island. This year is also a special celebration in our collective quest to show the world yet again by our commitment to advance our democratic credentials by holding free, fair, transparent, and democratic elections. <laughs> That will satisfy international standards. This will demonstrate to the world that Liberia has truly turned the page of its recent history. It is now on the path of enduring peace and lasting democracy. Just six days from today, we'll be commemorating the 176 years of the anniversary of independence of our beloved country. We'll be doing so with renewed vigor and hope based on the premise that our country is headed in the right direction. As we hold it together as a united people, bring solutions to address the many challenges that have faced us as a result of the devastation and destruction that will cause by our prolonged civil war. It is therefore always pleasing to be here as the convener of the prestigious Golden Image Award. It is therefore with deep humility that I join you, distinguished personality, to be recognized and awarded this year's special honor. Thank you.
I'm most grateful, as always, for the dynamic, very creative, and innovative cultural ambassador. But I no shaking in <laughs> And a couple of brilliant organizers of the Body Image Award for such a wonderful land. I see the most prominent personality who have come from the continent and far away to grace the occasion and to personally receive their award. Let me, at this time, recognize and extend very warm greetings to our international guests and to congratulate you and our national recipients for being honored tonight. It is my hope that the awards you have individually and collectively received tonight will serve as both an inspiration and a catalyst in spurring you honorees in continuing the respected marvelous work and deeds that have given you worthy recognition. I am most proud to be associated with your achievements. Let me say to Ambassador Andy, I sent this loan over the years, the Golden Image Award, and given hope to our people through its program in support of peace, unity, and reconciliation. <laughs> the future of the Golden Image Award remains bright, and our government will continue to support that was a work with the procedure for peace in this world to advance national peace and reconciliation. Thank you. Tonight, I feel truly blessed and very humble and grateful for the statue that you have, the statue that you have erected in my honor and for showing upon me and my darling wife, Claire, the first lady of my view, all these beautiful athletes and gifts. Distinguished personality, esteemed ladies and gentlemen. In just under three months, Liberia will take the center stage in world affairs as all eyes and ears turn to us as we head to the polls. All legislative and presidential elections. The theme of this year award gave me hope to our people through peace, non violence, and credible elections. Could not have been a clearer, clearing call. Signify a strong commission to demonstrate to the world our collective resolve to keep in our democratic credentials on track. No matter how deep our political differences, we will go to the polls, avoid any form of violence in order to choose our leader in an atmosphere of peace. <laughs> Let me again, Ambassador Judy Andy, and the Crusader for Peace, Ben. And I stand my profound thanks and appreciation to all businesses, organizations, and institutions that sponsored or contributed to the success of this year award. Thus, we have a wonderful evening. We are also looking forward to a joyous and peaceful celebration of the 176th anniversary of the independence of the Republic of Liberia on the 26th of July. I want to say to all Liberians in and out of Liberia, I want to wish you a happy independence in advance. Thank you and may God bless Mama Liberia.
That's the voice of His Excellency, Dr. George Manawia. So, folks, we like to say thanks for watching LRB Latest News 231. We like to say please uh, keep following us and keep uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Another round of applause, please. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We can see.